Hey guys, Rick here again with Northeast Whitetail. It's August 16th, 2017. We're out here in one of the hunting properties. We're throwing stands up, getting those sets in the air. And I just wanted to share with you guys a little bit of the process. Uh, it's a process that I've kind of developed myself. Um, it's nothing special though. I'm sure several other people use the same process, but it's a very safe, process it's a very easy process and i just wanted to share it with you guys so um as you can see here i've already got a 20 foot stick ladder in place uh, these things are relatively easy to set up um, all my permanent stands i either use a stick ladder like this or a, I'll use uh, the climbing sticks, which will be individual sections that will go right up the tree. And I just find that to be a lot easier on private, private property. Now, state property, I might just go ahead, hang the stand, and uh, use some lone wolf sticks or something to get in. Uh, because I, I don't like uh, leaving the sticks. You just never know if someone's going to end up using your tree stand whatnot so uh, over here we've got the lone wolf tree stand that we're going to be putting up uh, some of the other things I'm using here today is we've got a 30 foot rope here with a carabiner attached at each end one of these will go on my belt loop, and the other one will get attached to the tree stand so that when I'm up in the tree, I can just hoist the stand up um, pretty easily uh, with this rope. Again, it's a 30-foot rope. On top of this 20-foot section, I'm going to stick a single ladder stick because I like my stands to be a little bit higher than 20 foot, I usually like to put them around 22, 23 foot for my fixed stands. Sometimes a little bit higher depending on the location. And um, another thing that I use here, which I don't see it. Oh, right here. I use one of these uh, strap sections at the top. I use that on the back of the tree to grab a hold of when I'm stepping into the stand and when I'm getting out. And it also doubles as a gear holder. I'll hang this towards the back of the tree. A lot of times I'll bat pack uh, my clothes in um, because I am in mountain terrain here. You get pretty sweaty on the way in so you don't want to wear all of your clothes walking into your tree stand so I'll I'll pack those in in some type of pack and then I usually need a hook to hang that bag off the, the back of the tree once you're in stand or your bow your gun whatever you're using that day so um, it it beats having to screw a screw in step or some type of screw in gear holder into the tree which can be very damaging to the tree and if you're concerned about uh, future timber value like I am myself then that's important to you so uh, we're gonna the other one of the other things you can see that I'm wearing here is my hunter safety system vest and I use a lineman's belt when I'm in the tree for hand free hands free uh, operation and I'll show you guys what that looks like once we're up in the tree so I'm self filming this um, you're not going to see every step of the process, but you guys will get the general idea. So I'll see you here in a little bit. Okay, guys, so we're up here in the tree. I'm standing on the top rung of this 20-foot stick ladder. And as you see, I am hands-free in the tree right now and quite comfortable. We have... The first thing I do when I get up in the tree is I secure the lineman's belt right around the tree which allows you to just do whatever you want up here and not have to worry about anything. I usually carry 
the stick portion up. I throw it over my shoulder when I'm climbing up the stick. And so, uh, again, both hands are on the stick ladder when climbing. So you have your uh, two points of contact, three points of contact at all times. Over here, I have my 30-foot rope, which leads down to the lone wolf stand down there at the bottom. So once I secure this stick here and get it to where I want it, I have my uh, strap hanging over there. Um, <clears throat> we're going to put that up just a little bit higher. That way I have something to reach up and grab a hold of as I'm stepping into the stand. And I'll be able to step down onto the platform, which is going to be angled out this way. Uh, the correct way so let me go ahead and get that done and I'll show you guys the finished product here in a few minutes okay guys so here we are we got the stand hung as you can see we're standing on it right now uh, I left this beech tree out here in front of me here kind of I wish I could have left it set up a little bit higher than this but I think uh, I, I really needed to get rid of it so I'd be able to draw my bow back up in here and stuff. But this beech tree will hold its leaves uh, well into late uh, archery season and stuff. Uh, beech are notorious for holding on their, to their leaves pretty late. Uh, we're strapped up to the tree here. And uh, besides having to, you know, cut some branches and, you know, just trim out a few shooting lanes here, we're done with this stand, so. So don't forget to check us out over on YouTube, Northeast Whitetail. Uh, look us up on Facebook, Northeast Whitetail Habitat and Strategy Management. Until next time, I'll talk to you later.